a lawsuit has been filed today on behalf of one of the young men killed in the November 30th shooting at Oxford High School. That suit, which also includes families of other students injured, looks to hold school administrators, teachers, and a counselor responsible for what happened that day. Michael Martin live in the studio now with the details. Michael? Janice Doug, attorney Ven Johnson says this case will take years in the court system, and that's because school employees hold what's called a governmental immunity in the eyes of the Michigan law. But the families here, united in their grief, seek to change that and to hold the people that they believe responsible accountable in a court of law. The ball was dropped, and there needs to be accountability here. These are the parents of 16-year-old Tate Meir, the young football star gunned down on November 30th at Oxford High School. We're not doing good. All we do is walk around the house and think about Tate. Speaking Thursday morning alongside attorney Ven Johnson and the families of other students present at the high school that day. They are filing a lawsuit against three Oxford teachers and the dean of students. All of these kids are absolutely traumatized and it, the whole thing could have been avoided had people simply done what they're required to do under the law. Johnson spoke about the teachers finding these drawings allegedly done by accused shooter Ethan Crumbly just hours before the shooting happened. You don't have to be a psychologist or a psychiatrist to, to see this and feel the sadness and desperation of the person writing this on his chapter five test review of using congruent triangles. Because teachers are deemed mandatory reporters under Michigan's child protection law, Johnson believes they broke the law when police weren't called that day. Instead, the dean of students allegedly met with Crumbly and his parents, but then sent the boy back to class without checking his backpack. Prosecutors have said inside it, was the Sig Sauer 9mm later used to kill four students. And we've now made it almost impossible to hold a teacher, administrator, counselor responsible, even though the law says that they're mandatory reporters and they have to report. So we think that we really need to take a look at this law. Johnson says they will take this case all the way through the appellate court chain to challenge the perceived immunity of teachers and school administrators. My clients realize that this is something that we're going to fight all the way and we hope to effectuate change and to expose what these teachers and counselors at Oxford did wrong so that other schools and school employees can say, oh man, okay, now I get it. We can never let that happen. And an update tonight on the status of the criminal case against accused shooter Ethan Crumbly. What we're talking about with this lawsuit is a civil case based on these new court filings. Crumbly expected to present a so-called insanity defense at trial. The court will now likely under order him to undergo a mental evaluation, which will likely delay his case for several months time. For now, though, live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.